the number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship. My life changed a couple years ago when I discovered something called the progress principle. The best definition of success I have ever heard was one that Earl Nightingale originated way back 1959. Wanna be happy? Build a life, not just a business. Mm -hmm. Living that believe life. Out here living that believe life. Every day we live in that believe life. Hustle like we live in that believe life. Living life, yes, yeah, so we grinding it out. Every single day we be grinding it out. Hustle like we live in that believe life. Oh. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something greater inside you as well. You are a genius. So today, let's live your best belief life and learn some of the universal laws of success. Okay, let's kick it off with law number one, trade your life for worthy goals with Bob Proctor. You know, the law of success is a pretty interesting concept. There's been books written on it, stories told on it. Lives have been spent looking for it. Let's understand that everything operates by law. The whole universe operates by law. The best definition of success I have ever heard was one that Earl Nightingale originated way back 1959. He said, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Well, let's break that down for a moment. Success is the progressive, continually moving, progressive realization, constant awareness, of a worthy ideal. An ideal is an idea that you have fallen in love with. An ideal is an idea that you're intellectually, emotionally, and physically involved with. An ideal is an idea that you've fallen in love with. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So you don't ask, are you worthy of the idea? Are you worthy of the good? Is it worthy of you? Now, now you're getting in to law of success. Is it worthy of you? You see, what you're gonna do is trade your life. You're trading your life for whatever it is you're going after. So you want to make up your mind, whatever your goal happens to be, whatever you are pursuing, make certain it's worthy of you because you're chain trading your life for it. The law of success calls for you to continually move in toward a predetermined objective in life and bringing your life in harmony with the laws that govern the entire universe. Law number two, use the progress principle with Mel Robbins. My life changed a couple years ago when I discovered something called the Progress Principle. It is a principle that was written about in the Harvard Business Review. It's based on a tremendous amount of research done by a professor over there. And what she determined is that people that feel uh, happy and successful and fulfilled by their lives and work, they all have one thing in common. They feel as though they're making progress on something that matters. So I read this little bit of research and I started applying it to my life. And what I do, as, as stupid as this sounds, it really works. I don't focus on balancing everything. I focus on just making sure that I make progress on one thing a day. That's right, you heard me. One thing a day that matters to me. Now, if I can make progress on one thing a day that matters to me, then I can let go and let the rest of my day get hijacked by kids, by spouse, by phone calls, by emails, by social media, by all kinds of things that come up and tend to hijack your day when you're a busy person, when you have a family, when you're married, when you got a lot going on. And so by focusing on one thing a day, I feel the sense of control and the sense of progress that science tells us will make you happy and make you feel more confident and actually make you more effective at getting things done. It also frees me up to be more present with my kids. Also, if you wanna have more confidence, check out my 254 series, they are free. The links to join are in the description below. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. You might wanna get honest with yourself. Like instead of doing this, I want to be a millionaire, I want to do this. Do you really? 
because you can make it happen. You actually can. Look at all the idiots that are making money. You can make money. So I started to study myself. I found most people don't know who they are. They really don't. Law number three is raise your standards with Tony Robbins. The number one thing that's going to change your life, the only thing that will change your life, change your business, change your money, change your relationship, is you must raise your standard. Now, I know that sounds boring, stupid, basic, but it's the truth. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. What does that mean? That sounds so boring and dumb. It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. Remember I said earlier, we all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. The difference in people is their standards, period. And what do I mean by standards? Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight. I should work out. I should spend more time with my kids. I should work harder, I should make more calls, I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call should all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. And law number four, the last one before a very special bonus clip is practice gratitude with Ed Milet. I had a really good friend of mine. I went to lunch and he said, I don't know who this guy is here in front of me. And he goes, let me ask you a question, honestly. Right now, what are you grateful for? And at the lunch, I said, jack shit. nothing, brother. There's nothing good in my life right now. And I'm not exaggerating this to you when I tell you this, and this is a factual story. As I'm mouthing these words, two people walked in with an older man. Both of them clearly were fighting cancer somehow. Mm -hmm. Both had lost their hair. One of the ladies had a bonnet on, and they were barely moving in. Both walked by our table and gave me the most warm greeting, the warmest smile as a stranger. And he goes, that's pretty freaking pathetic. You can't find anything in your life to be grateful for right now. And on the drive home, I'm not kidding you, I started to stack gratitude. I started to take inventory. Because if you can find things to be grateful for in that space, man, is your life gonna be rich when there really are external things to be grateful for. So my first mechanism out of that space was honestly to stack the things I was grateful for and I started reinforcing it over and over and over again. And what happens is there's this reticular activating system in our brains, right? And all of a sudden, because that's the messaging I was giving myself, all of a sudden, all these things start to come into my awareness that I'm grateful for. I start to magnetize to myself some people that I needed to find into my life, and that was the next layer. I started to see things to be grateful for, my health, my fitness, people who loved me. And what it did is it changed my state. When I stacked gratitude, I changed what I did in the morning, and I changed what I did in the evening. Mm -hmm. And so somehow by grabbing control of my morning and by grabbing control of my evening, I got some measure of control over the middle of my day. I was an out of control person back in those days, meaning this, I woke up worried, stressed, fearful, and I immediately start thinking about a bill I had to pay, something that was wrong, and I'm in a state of reaction to begin every, I'm talking within six minutes of waking up, six seconds. Most people listening to this, that's what they do. I said, I gotta grab control of my morning, and I set up routines in my morning. Maybe they served me, maybe they didn't, but they were things I could deliver on doing for myself. And so not only did that give me control over the day, but I started to stack my self-confidence too. Now I have a special bonus clip on how to manage the energy in your life with Dan Dapani that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Let's go from just watching a video to taking action. Here we go. Question number one, what are three things that you are grateful for right now? Number two, where do you need to raise the standards in your business and life? 
And number three, how can you apply the progress principle to your business? And if you like this video and will take action after watching it, give me a hashtag believe down in the comments as well. Learning how to manage your energy is really, really important in life. And one of the most important ways to do it is to really look at the people around you. And you can simplify, and this is a very simplified view, obviously we're doing it very quickly. Uh, who are people that are uplifting in your life and who are people that drain you? And the people that drain you, I call them energy vampires. And sometimes these people are colleagues, or friends, associates, and sometimes they're families and relatives as well. Uh, if you find that these energy vampires are inherently energy vampires, it's not because they're going through a hard time in life and might be going through a trouble period for a couple of years. Those are the people that you want to have more tolerance with. But people who are energy vampires all the time, all the time then these are people you want to let go out Discard of your life. Them. Yes, and you want to have the courage to do that. And most people can do that with friends or associates or clients, but when it comes to f relatives and family, it's, hard. it's yeah. much harder. And I think if you value your life enough, then you'll do it. You'll do it. If you want to know the five universal skills that will make you rich, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. What you need is the one thing I talk about in my book. If I could go back and you could only give me one skill to begin with and I had to build from all of it, 